Hey guys, it's Taya. Um, I'm back with another video. And um, first things first, excuse my appearance. Um, I know I'm looking kind of crazy, but that's just because I'm just preparing for the day and I have lots of things to do. So first things first, I need to get ready, get this all together. And um, the main purpose of this video is to show you the hairstyle that I'm going to come up with that I started last night. I'm going to let you guys know the products that I used to uh, develop this style. And we're going to kind of work through it together to figure out what I'm going to do with those curls. Also, I want to just share with you guys some new products that I purchased recently that were on sale that I'm really excited to try. And also I have an announcement to make. Um, that's going to mean some different things for my hair. Alright, uh, stay tuned and give me a minute because I got it ready because I got things to do. Okay guys, so I'm done uh, getting ready. Thank you for being patient. So uh, let's move on to my hair. Okay. So this is what my hair looks like. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is what my hair looks like currently. It is in twists all over my head, and then those twists are rolled up into the silk rollers. And these two sections, I ended up using these foam. Uh, I don't even know what to call them. Curl former type things because I ran out of the rollers that I wanted to use. So this is what my hair looks like right now. And I'm just gonna show you the things that I used last night when I was doing this to my hair. And um, I'm not really sure what the end result is gonna be. I'm not even sure how this is gonna turn out. <laughs> but that's one thing that you need to realize um, if you are new to being natural like myself not every single thing that you try is going to be perfect like you're going to have some fails so this could very well be a fail i don't know <laughs> we're going to find out together okay so um first of all i used let me see this is a new product that I bought that I'm going to talk about in a second, but this is the Mixed Chicks Leave-In Conditioner. Um, in each section of my hair, I took the whole section and applied just a little bit of this leave-in conditioner. Love it, by the way. I love this. And then, I use, I've had this for a while, actually. It's a deep conditioner. It's the Shea Moisture Extra Moisture Deep Treatment Mask. And uh, like I said, it's actually meant to be used as a deep conditioner, but I used it as a styler. I used it to do my twists. And this is what it looks like. I might have some hair in there. I'm, I apologize for that. It smells pretty good. Um, but yeah, this is what I used on my twists. And this is my first time uh, trying to use this as anything but a deep conditioner. And then on top of the extra moisture, uh, the Shea Moisture Extra Moisture Deep Treatment Mask, I used this product. It's the Garnier Fructis Anti Frizz Serum, Sleek and Shine. And I love this stuff. Like, love, love this. I used this um, when I first started transitioning. I put this on top of the Shea Moisture Mask and that is all I did to my hair last night and then I just rolled up each section as I twisted them with these rollers. So without further ado, I'm going to take out um, each twist in each roller and show you what it looks like. Okay, so all of my rollers are out, and these are my twists. And the next step for me is going to be unraveling each of my twists. Oops. 
So this is what we got. So now I'm going to try to style this a little bit and do something with it. I'm not going to do anything too crazy so don't get too excited. But we're going to try to work something out. Okay, so scratch that side comb. I didn't like that. It's too close to like the um, edge of my hair and it looked lumpy. So I'm not with it. We're gonna just use bobby pins instead. So what I'm gonna do is brush up a little bit, grab my hair, grab some of my hair like this on the sides and twist it like that. Just like that. Twist it so it will hold. I heard a story about a man. He came up with a plan for flying. He showed it to his wife. And he said, now, darling, why are you crying so? And she whispered in his ear. I have a fear you won't come back down to this ground. And he said, I'll always come back to you. So I have to say that this seems like it's turning into a a fail <laughs> but i tried i did i did try but i don't like it <laughs> i don't like it at all so i just pinned up the sides well you know it's not so bad whatever and now all i'm going to do is just kind of mess with the front and the back a little bit kind of Fluff it together. I kind of want these curls coming up towards the front. Okay, so the camera ran out of memory. I'm having so much issues with this camera, I swear. That's all right, we're gonna work it out. But um, all I did was, or what I was saying was, I was gonna put a couple pins here to push the bangs forward. And then I put a couple pins right here as well to kind of bring the middle part and the back together and I like it a lot better that way <clears throat> all in all I can't say that I am like totally in love with this at all I have no idea how it looks in the back um, but I'm sure I'll be able to see once I'm done recording so, so that's it like I explained in the beginning Sometimes it's just not gonna turn out how you want it to turn out. And that's just life and you just gotta get over it, okay? So what I want y'all to do is let me know what you think in the comments below about how my hair turned out. You can let me know if it's fly or if it is a fail. And you can be honest with me, like I'm sensitive, but I'm not that sensitive. You know, I'm a G, so 
I can take it. Just let me know. <laughs> Moving right along though, because there was other things that I wanted to talk about in this video. So, I'm not going to touch my hair again. I'm going to let it be. It is what it is, right? Right. Okay, so um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was these new products that I bought. And look, funny story, right? So, I just went and got my receipt for um, those products so I could give you an accurate price of what I got purchasing them on sale. And I just noticed, mind you, I bought these a couple weeks ago. I bought these on February, no, wait, it was today. Like a week ago, but on February 9th. And uh, I just realized that they didn't give me the price, the sale price for these things. And y'all don't understand, like I am so cheap. And I have to say that the only reason that I bought these products was because they were on sale. Like, <laughs> each of them was discounted a few dollars. Like, no, not a couple cents, like a few dollars. And I got like the whole set. Cause I was like, oh my gosh, I really wanted to try these products and they're on sale. So let me, let me get that. And I am such a person who always checks their receipts and I didn't check my receipt. And I just noticed that they charged me a full price for each of these. So I'm going to show you what I got. <laughs> and I'm keeping some of it, but the stuff that I didn't use that cost way too much, I'm taking it back. Please don't judge me. Anyhow, <laughs> they're all mixed chicks products. Um, now this, which I, I, you know, I thought I was getting on sale. It's like 16 bucks actually um this i actually am going to keep this is the mixed chicks deep conditioner and it smells all right i mean there's nothing special about it i've used it once and um i liked it it left my hair pretty soft and uh manageable i used it on my son's hair as well and i liked it on his hair and then there's this, which I already showed you um, earlier in this video. It's the Mixed Chicks, Mixed Chicks Leave-In Conditioner. And this stuff, like, I really, really, really like this. Like, besides the fact that I've used it a bit, so I probably couldn't return it anyway. I really like it, so I wouldn't return this anyway. And I spent, uh, oof, $15.99 on this as well, regular price. Um, on accident, <laughs> and I, I like it, I really, really like it, I like it so much, the consistency, um, is awesome, like, you don't need very much, and when you put it in your hair, like, it distributes itself so well, and it leaves my hair feeling so moisturized and so soft, I really like this. If, if you are, you know, cheap like me and you're going to splurge or anything, I would recommend this leave-in conditioner. And, uh, this is a few things that, you know, I'm going to show you what I got, but, um, uh, I'm not keeping. Now, this one is the Mixed Chicks Straightening Serum, which I got because I was like, okay, if they're all on sale, I'm just going to go for it and get them all, you know, turn up. But... <laughs> I don't, I have, okay, I have no intention of straightening my hair anytime soon. I am <clears throat> probably only going to straighten my hair maybe once every six months or so. Like, I, I don't, I'm so scared of heat damage that I, I do not want to even begin messing with the heat. I don't blow dry my hair or anything. So this was just something I was like, it'd be cool to have, but for the price that I pay for it, it's not worth it to me because I'm not going to be straightening my hair this much you know it's just not worth it so there's that and then there was something else that i seem to have misplaced oh this um the mixed chicks shampoo and this was 11.99 now i thought this was on sale but it wasn't and i do not use shampoo often at all like I'm not a shampoo girl like I do own some shampoos like I have this um, Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine shampoo which is halfway gone but I've had for a really long time to get that far because I will very rarely shampoo my hair um, and I also have 
the herbal essences. What is it? Herbal essences, pardon me, the uh, Hello Hydration Shampoo. Um, so those two I'll use every once in a while. But I don't use shampoo nearly enough for this to have been a worthy purchase for me. <laughs> so that's what I got, but I'm not keeping it. And um, this, I haven't decided if I'm going to return this one yet. Because it's, uh, it's the Mixed Chicks Hair Silk. I haven't used it, but I don't know. For some reason, it just seems like something that I still want to try. So I might hold on to this. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm so cheap. I was, I'm really upset. <laughs> but moving right along. Okay, so um, I think that's all I wanted to talk about. There was one last thing that I wanted to tell you all. Um, like a little announcement that I had. If you follow me on Instagram, then you probably already know this, but I am pregnant. I am uh, 20 weeks, yeah, I'm 20 weeks pregnant. Um, so I'm getting nice and chunky, and <laughs> I'm rubbing my belly right now, because that's what you do when you talk about being pregnant, you start rubbing your belly. But yes, I'm 20 weeks pregnant and I am so excited. I do not know what I'm having yet. My, um, my due date is the day before my birthday. So my due date is July 4th and I'm so excited. I, we find out what we're having on the 25th of February, the 25th of this month. So I'll let you guys all know. But I just wanted to share that news with you guys, and also I brought it up because it's gonna um, it's going to affect my hair. It, I mean, it has already affected my hair um, because I know when I was pregnant with my son, who's three now, my hair was growing like crazy while I was pregnant. Um, so I imagine that that's going to be happening again. One, because of all of the hormones that are surging through my body. And um, two, because of the prenatal vitamins that I take every day. So those two factors are going to have my hair and nails growing like crazy like it did with my first pregnancy. But, you know, um, it'll, be it'll be interesting to see how, how it affects my hair. But I also am expecting by the end of my pregnancy after I have my child for my hair to start shedding like crazy because that happened when uh, I gave birth to my first child. Uh, my hair started shedding a lot after I gave birth. So I, you know, grown a lot, but it started shedding a lot too. Yeah. So I just wanted to share that with you because it kind of does play a factor um, in my hair journey right now. And that's all I have for you guys. I think this video is going to be really long. I'm going to try to edit it so that it's not because I hate long videos. But um, that's, that's it. That's my update for you guys. Thank you for being patient and watching this video. And I'll talk to you guys later.